Use business cards effectively. It's never an excuse to tell someone at a business presentation or meeting that you'd run out of business cards. On occasions where you happen to bring along a few pieces of your business cards, you manage to feebly present sorry-looking cards that are bent and disfigured. Who would trust you when you can't even manage to present your business cards effectively? It's time to turn things around by making a commitment to use your business cards effectively. Here's how. Make sure your business cards are good to go. Meaning that you have a stack with you wherever you go. Those business cards were not meant to stay inside your desk drawer you know. They were meant to go places and close deals with you. If you are given to episodes of forgetfulness, have someone remind you all the time. Make sure your business cards are always in top form. Your business cards should always be battle ready, not battle scarred. This means that your business cards should be ready for business in the way they look, clean from front to back, cleanly cut, crisp looking, and in mint condition. Place your business cards in its proper place. If you're headed out, Place a stack inside a handsome looking case where they'll be protected from being bent, damaged, or messed up by greasy fingers or water spills. When you're traveling, place some inside your wallet in a compartment especially designed for business cards and inside your luggage in an area where they can be protected until you need to hand them out. If you're using a tote bag, use the case and drop it in your tote bag. The idea is to make sure your business cards remain business-like when it's time to hand them out. Pay attention to the details stated in your business cards. Make sure your name is spelled correctly, your current job position or classification is exactly that, current. Your contact details are correct, your company logo is present, and all the details that you know should be in your business cards are accounted for. Never use business cards that are not up to date. Place an order before your business cards run out. How effective are your business cards if you keep running out of supply? If your stack is down to less than 100, place an order for a new batch right now. Do not write anything on your business cards unless it's for a price quote that's needed by your business contact before you leave his office or it's the business contact that requests you to scribble extra details like your direct line at home or your personal mobile phone. When you need to scribble something on your business cards, these are the only two reasons that are acceptable to do so. Show interest and don't hold back on the compliments. Each time you are handed a business card, read it straight off in front of the person who gave it to you. 
This shows the other person that you are interested in what he does. Another important thing is to give out sincere compliments about the business card e.g. color, design, logo, font, etc. Remember that the operative word when giving out compliments is sincerity. Finally, always make sure you stick M in their faces. Your business cards should always be present in whatever form, shipments, letters, and packages. These are the ways that you can use in presenting your business cards effectively.